airships, the gentle giants, for 60 years extinct. The renaissance has begun. As a cargo, lifter, as cargo lifter is not an airship project. Cargo lifter is a business concept with an eye-catching bonus, the immense size of the ship. The Zeppelins were flying luxury liners, passenger ships of the air. The cargo lifter will have another task. This isn't really an airship project, but the solution to a difficult transport problem. The German construction industry is faced at the moment with almost insoluble difficulties. This air separation equipment should reach Mexico. Its delivery, though, will take five grueling and troublesome weeks. We spent a year checking the route to find out if we could deliver the plant before accepting the contract to build it. It's planning authorities and transport departments who determine what can be produced, not manufacturers. And even if air freight shortens the sea crossing, the average speed of such a shipment is 8 kilometers an hour. The problems start right away at the point of delivery. It would be perfect if you could pick up the heavy loads and carry them to India, China or wherever the construction site is located and set the load down on its foundations. The cargo lifter is a flying crane with a 10,000 kilometer range, a load limit of 160 tons and a maximum freight capacity 8 meters by 8 and 50 meters long. The patented load frame is anchored by four cables to the ground. The airship can turn freely in the wind. The system functions even in a 5-4 scale. The necessary ground equipment fits onto a truck. When the cargo lifter takes to the air, the concept is proven and the industry believes in the concept, then demand will explode because today's transport problems will vanish. September the 1st, 1996. In Wiesbaden's historic spa building, 93 shareholders establish cargo lifter RG. The first engineers begin their work, and the airship takes shape on computers. At Stuttgart University, using a computer simulation and an underwater model, the flight characteristics of cargo lifter are explored. November 97, the first annual meeting. Cargo lifter Arge now has 800 shareholders. The media follows the project with interest. Looming into the market comes the world's biggest cargo carrier. The project wird massiv vom Land unterstützt. This year was the breakthrough for the project being accepted. I think it will have a future. We will do it. Riesenbrand, 50 kilometers south of Berlin. Cargo lifter Arge buys the former Soviet military airfield. Here the airship production center will be built. May the 2nd, 1998, the groundbreaking ceremony. 680 balloons clearly show the outline of the future airship hangar. And the shareholders, now numbering 2,695, dig the foundations in the forest sand. In Brandenburg is the vision from Superluftschiff schon ein bisschen Realität geworden. Ein faszinierendes Projekt. Und wir tun's einfach. Maybe by the year 2010, should Cargo Lifter continue to attract venture capital, you'll find that word Luftschiffhafen again in the Frankfurt Telephone Book. Peter Kaiser for CNBC.
a gigantic area, a place for visionaries. It'll be impressive, the hangar 100 meters high, 200 meters wide, 360 meters long. To walk through it will be a great experience. October 98, the building work begins. Cargo lifter is now up to 4,100 shareholders. March 99, the hangar for Joey, the experimental airship, takes shape. The Airship Design Center, an international team works on the development of cargo lifter. Within a few months, it will house more than 100 engineers. Joey, the name for the eighth scale demonstrator of cargo lifter. The experimental airship will provide valuable figures and research data. The first tests, a helium pressure release valve is tried out. Joey's keel consists of ultra light laminated carbon fiber rods. Steel dominates the hangar site. Bit by bit, three 130 meter high cranes are put together. The cranes are necessary to move the fabricated steel parts of the hangar. You can say the hangar is big. Okay, it's big, but words just can't describe it. The cargo lifter hangar. Five steel arches, 360 meters long, 210 meters wide, and 107 meters high. On this ring of carbon fiber, Joey's tailplane will be fixed. Instruments, electrics and engines are added. October the 13th, 1999, the final engine tests. Joey is ready for the maiden flight. Three days later, a veteran underway to brand to a festival of arches. No one had reckoned on the size of the crowd. 25,000 people went there. The vision of cargo lifter becomes reality. Analysts and journalists report on it worldwide. We're amazed at how many analysts have attended, over 400 to the presentation this morning. 
and I think that uh, people are believing that they have a real business strategy. This is not just a monster of a ship that's exciting everybody initially, it is a real project that has roots and necessity in, a, in an industry that needs help. Several skeptics were won over, such as David Learmont, the former Airbus test pilot, now one of the most respected aviation journalists in the world. Here we have the precise navigation, the new materials, and, um, and digital technology all coming together. And just as somebody sees that a particular job needs to be done, uh, the uh, enabling technology arrives at the same time. And uh, I think that um, and, uh, Dr. Von Gablenz has got a team together, he's gathering a team together, which are very, very impressive as a team. The amount of expertise there is amazing. Some skeptics even became shareholders. A few days after the festival, they numbered 8,200. October the 18th, 5.30 a.m. The moment has come. Today, Joey starts her maiden flight. The engineers have stage fright. Joey is um, to get a validation of computer models. We have computer models uh, that simulate Joey and the Seagull 160. Uh, now we have the possibility of getting validation saying that, okay, the computer model is close to the reality or not. Uh, Joey as such, as a project also, has served, it serves a, a purpose for Cargolift as a company to set up the procedures for design, manufacture, certification. First flight for Joey, a milestone on the way to the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> 